Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Jenkins Pipeline Authoring SIG United States meeting. It is Friday, March 13th. Welcome. Uh, I will start with saying that the Jenkins uh, does have a code of conduct, which essentially amounts to don't be a jerk to one another, just be kind. I am going to share my screen to bring up the meeting. Oh, no, don't tell me. I can't share my screen. I can share mine if you'd like. If you can, because I need to, I'd have to leave this meeting and restart it because I'm on a new laptop and it's not letting me share and because I just updated. Not here. So let's do a share this screen. And there's probably a way to open up the Google Doc now. And here we go. Beautiful. Thank you okay. so very, very much. I appreciate right, that. Let's make it readable size. Okay. And if you could just drop your name in the attendees list for March 13th. Uh, I will go ahead and start off with open items. The personas, uh, questions. If everybody has entered their questions, which I believe they have, that's great. If you have it, please do. Uh, I will link the doc, uh, the link to the doc in here. But uh, I think most everybody has answered their personas questions. And those are going to be what we decide uh, how our roadmap is going to look and the features that we want to work on. Uh, do you, anybody have anything to add to that? Anybody, Mark, <laughs> should do so. I won't refer to you as, as there's more people here. No, uh, nothing, nothing for me. I added my questions awesome. for the persona I thought I could help with. Uh, okay, I will move over into the discussion. Uh, GDSL support, there has been some chatter in the Gitter channel uh, in regards to doing, getting that back up to speed. And uh, well, I, the, the, the chatter I agree with is extremely relevant and it is something that uh, Liam and I have talked about adding this to our roadmap. So we definitely will be thinking about that and, and how we wanna get that done. My idea initially in conversation with Liam was that we just do this initially for IntelliJ and then we start working out for Eclipse and, and all of that stuff later on, but initially for IntelliJ. And uh, so that is that. The final thing with uh, open discussion is uh, we need to start finalizing our roadmap. For those that are watching this video, one of the things that the pipeline authoring SIG is going to do is we wanna set out a roadmap for what we will be wanting to accomplish as a, you know, from a high level, and then what we're going to accomplish this year, maybe quarter by quarter. Uh, this also sort of rolls up into, for those that have seen Oleg's email in regards to the overall Jenkins uh, roadmap, we want to start rolling SIG uh, roadmaps into that. I will add a link to uh, what we have for the initial roadmap, as well as to Oleg's uh, mailing list item for the overall Jenkins project roadmap. Do you have anything to add to that, Mark? Just one point. Uh, just like real maps of real roads don't have dates on them, it is perfectly okay that the real map that the map of this road does not have dates on it. So uh, you you referenced quarters, and for me, it, I think it was Oleg's phrasing was something like now near and a long ways out or something like that there he had three three buckets in his proposal and and none of them are particularly time constrained Ag agreed i get into the concept of doing things by quarters but being that this is an open source project i have to sort of change my agile mindset to a more oss mind frame so thank you for clarifying that if you don't have anything else, Mark, I think we can go to the open floor and you do have some items that you wanted to discuss. So I will turn it over to you. I do. Okay. So I've been, I've been funded to replace the D zone Jenkins pipeline ref card. It's a, a PDF formatted ref card, eight or 10 pages based 
coming from 2015 that's heavily on scripted pipeline. And um, I think we can, given that it's a funded effort, we can shift its content to use it to do some things with declarative. There is already a declarative pipeline ref card from DZone, um, but none of, n none of those have anything about matrix or milestones or retry. Uh, for me, I think we should deprecate scripted from, we should not mention scripted in the ref card. The ref card should be a, a marketing concept. It should be something that people look at very quickly and realize the, the preferred way to do things. And I don't think putting scripted in front of people today is a preferred way. Um, I agree so, with that. Okay, cool. So matrix, milestone, and retry are three that look to me, oh, I guess there's one more, lock, right? That are, if I remember right, not mentioned in the existing declarative pipeline ref card, any other recommendations of, oh, here's a cool feature that we ought to highlight. It already does have, for instance, post, when, um, et cetera, are already covered. Okay. I don't have anything off the top of my head to add. I will, I do have a question. In, in regards to this body of work, is this something that you are doing yourself? Or are you looking to maybe get help on this from the community? Uh, no, it's, this is just me. I'll do it myself. I'm not okay. looking for help from the community. I do think that I would, I, I hope that I can, as part of this, use it to generate a declarative pipeline tutorial on Jenkins.io. Um, that was the, the reason for coming to the pipeline authoring SIG was I think this could also be used to generate, we have today on Jenkins.io tutorials on how to do a Maven based Java application, how to do a Python application and how to do a, a uh, no JS application. This would be somewhat orthogonal to those, those three things, which are application centered. This one would be, feature highlight centered, show the pieces and let let a reader choose which piece they wanted to, to look at. Instead of a, a linear flow through the tutorial, it would be choose your adventure. Oh, I want to know about post conditions. I want to know about when. I want to know about matrix or milestone and put tutorial segments there. Uh, question was, does that seem reasonable for a tutorial or should I look at another another delivery form? No, I think that seems perfect as a tutorial. I would even take it uh, to say, I wonder where this could fit like in looking from a persona's perspective, how mm -hmm. this, like, oh, this addresses David or, or this addresses Linda. Uh, that would also, that would be very good. Well, and, and I like that, that's a good point. Um, uh, which persona, or personas will this will this updated document address because you've got a good point i i should be very clear with the people i'm working that are helping with it which personas we're trying to address and which ones we are not trying to address with this agreed and i think when we have the overall document that gets put out there in terms of personas and somebody says oh i'm david and then they see that they could say oh okay well that that doesn't apply to me or then they look at it and they're like wait that does apply to me i'm not david i'm linda so i do think that would be good if we could sort of somehow incorporate that good all right yeah so i'll i'll that's good good point i hadn't thought of using the personas thanks that was uh, what i needed Awesome. That is, uh, that'll be great. I, I'd love to see that. And if you need any help, please, by all means, let me know and uh, I can help. But I think you've got it well under control. But please don't hesitate to reach out if you do. Great. Thank you. That is all that I had. Uh, I don't think there's anything else. Do you have anything else you wanted to add, Mark? I don't. Thanks very much for letting me take the time to talk through that ref card question. Well, that is beautiful. Then I will give you back uh, the rest of your hour. I will thank uh, anybody that uh, is watching this for watching it. And if you do have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us via the uh, pipeline uh, authoring mailing list or directly in the Gitter channel. With that, I will thank everybody and have a great weekend.
Thanks. Bye-bye.